Hey everyone, welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. the Bod Father. I have an exciting interview for you guys today. This is an awesome interview. I have Kurt Taylor, and I also have Bones on the line right now from the band Bones. Guys, what's going on? Not much, John. How are you today? Pretty great. Yeah, and we're super blessed. That's all good to have um, the opportunity to do some press. When anybody gave a damn, they even want to know what we're about. Thank you so much. Definitely. I've been a fan of you guys for, for a while now. I cannot wait for this new EP to come out that you guys are doing. Thanks for kind of psyched about it ourselves, man. We can't wait for it to come out, too. But, you know, hopefully, instead of an EP, we, we, we go full in. You know, maybe we can surprise y'all with that. But if not, you know, whatever we can get out there to the masses is, is, is good. What does this this band bring to the table than the bands that you guys were in? This band, I think, is a lot more user-friendly. It's a lot of fun. The members involved in this band are cool people. Um, uh, it's a family affair. Zero attitudes. I mean, we got attitude when we hit the stage, but as far as each other and getting off stage, we're all like really cool individuals to be around. Um, it's fun again, and that's the number one rule, fun. Um, when you do something like playing music live, and instead of it just being a hobby, and it's your lifestyle, and it's the way you make your, you know, your money money, uh-huh. um, fun is, is the number one ingredient. When you take all the fun out of it, then it becomes work, and that ain't no fun. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's one thing that's different about this band than some of the others is that the chemistry is just, it, it's smooth, you know, and, and something we always say is if it doesn't feel right, we're not going to do it. So, you know, that that's a general premise, and so we just want to have a little bit of fun and surprising the four people who get together. A whole bunch of fun. Yeah, well, imagine that. But, <laughs> you know, we get together and it's, <laughs> It's just cool, you know, and to have that many people that shoot at our age be able to get along, that's a blessing and a feat, man. What's the message behind the songs on this album that you guys are getting ready to put out? <laughs> it's all you, brother. <laughs> it's reality. It's all. Yeah. Talk about everyday life, things that that everybody can identify with and deal with in their lives also. It's got to connect with the masses. You know, when um, when, when uh, Stuck Mojo stopped, they wanted to get away from conscious material. And um, too many died for our freedom of speech. So why am I going to waste time on a CD record or on stage talking about nothing? Mm-hmm. You know, life's too short to be giving a message about nothing. That's exactly right. I never thought of it that way. But yeah, that's exactly right. You know, nowadays music is just so, how can I say it? It's just, that they have no meaning. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's exactly the way to say it. That's true. There's a lot of that. But then, I mean, there's a lot of great stuff as well that... That's why I think what we're doing is pretty refreshing, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. People are connecting with it so far, and, you know, it's just, it's awesome. I've got to say that I love the three tracks that I have from you guys. I mean, it's just in your face. I like it. It's it's different, and it's really cool, especially Sour Diesel, I have to say, is my favorite one. I just love the, 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 the flow of the song. It's just awesome. <laughs> But it's yeah, just cool, man. <laughs> much. I mean, we got a couple tracks on there where I had to get some shit off my chest. Take a personal broken silence. Broken silence is basically my clever way of uh, answering what went down with um, my last adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, when you have an institution like that and you get thrown under, under a bus, and I didn't really say nothing. So I said, you know what, the best thing I could do is put it in the song and be done with it. Because during interview time, waste the time about being angry and upset pissed. Don't nobody want to hear that. <laughs> they want to hear what you got going on now and how are you going to do it a bit different this time around. You know, so um, songs like Bad News and we've got more material coming. Like God, Sean, you ain't heard that one yet. Where it's just really, really positive messages. You know, just trying to let people know, you know. And I, it always, the end ain't always the end. You know, it's what you make of it. I've always said music is, is so much of a relief, man. It is. It's feeling. You know, that is music's feeling. And, if you, you know, people who get that and really understand that, it's a magical thing. And to anybody mm-hmm. else, you know, they're still getting entertained. So, you know, it's universal. It really is. It's really cool, Bones, that you can actually put in what you want to say into a song lyrically and not come across, you know, bad or anything like that. I, I, my hat's off to you, my brother. Thank you. you got to have fun with it, too. I yeah. mean, like, take it personal. You know, it's like I'm joining you. Like, I'm, I'm you know... Hey, man, ain't got to be number one. You can, be, you can have the number one spot, but check it now. Now the bullseye's on your ass, and I'm coming for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. Um, I've had, uh, I call study time, where um, I got a buddy named Kwaku, 
they takes me over with their little uh, clip called Stealing Dollars, and it's a whole a little young clip of MCs and, and, and musicians. And it was, I didn't even tell Kurt this yet, but, you know, that was like the one of the first little test markets that I got privy to, and they just took to us like candy. You know, and, I, and it made me grin inside because it's like, these, these, this is the future that I'm hanging around and listening to. And these kids just ate us up. They're mixing our, our songs in between their songs, the little DJ that they got going on. And it just felt really good to be accepted by the youth of um, the, the youth of the day. So uh, I feel really good about this thing right here. It's going to be good. When can we expect this album out? <laughs> That's why I started laughing. Yeah. I don't know, man, because everything, excuse me, things are happening on God's time, man. You know, we were dead in the water just a, uh, two weeks ago. Now we're going on tour. It's not yeah. in April, so I can't call it, man. You mm-hmm. know, all I can do is, is just try and push ahead and, and get all this material written. So when they say go, we go. That's it. We can steam all we want, but it seems like every time we do that, it don't go when we say go. They go we get or whatever, whatever plan, whatever plan we're trying to make gets totally aborted so I, i've learned to live with that and that's tough for me man i'm a i'm a black and white you know to the letter dot t's and cross i's kind of thing you know yeah, <laughs> dot I's I and cross I's. yeah i live in the gray area because i've been there before you know when, until you get everything you know when ink dries on the paper then you can say this day that day this day that day right now we're to that we're almost at that at that point to you know to where we go, okay, now we got the money in the bank, the record's going to be out on this day. Okay. So I can't really tell you that. It will be out this year, though. I can promise you that. <clears throat> okay. Other than you two, who else is in the band, guys? Um, We have, what's Aaron's last name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm lying, I'm lying. His name is Aaron Stagg. That's our drummer. And uh, Ronnie G. And we have a new bassist from Mississippi, Ronnie, um, Ronnie G. Yeah, yeah. Last week. Last week he came in audition for the band. He fell right in. You know, we like his demeanor. We like his style. He comes from um, another lineage of uh, of musicians down on that uh, Gulf Coast. Yeah. So um, style influence, a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And he came out of retirement actually to join this unit. Oh wow, that's cool. Don't let that, don't let that fool you. He's still a shitload younger than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's he just coming out of that grind of uh, being really the dedicated member of his, his organization, and everybody kind of threw him under the bus and left him sitting there at the bus stop. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> and um, he was kind of bitter. You know, he's been where we've been, yeah. and um, it's kind of it's kind it's kind of interesting to see. You know. Watch him come come out of his funk, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. Right. So um, I think he's gonna he's gonna fit in real well with us. It's fun, exactly. Guys, when people come to your shows to watch you guys play, what what can fans expect at a Bones concert? Energy, fun, up to live, we're soft, everything in between, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's live show, you know. I don't know what I'm gonna do sometimes. I just know we're gonna get up there, we're gonna rock the house. You know, our drummer is, is phenomenal, man. This guy does more with less drums than I've ever seen in my life. Um, we're going to have material from all the bands we played in. Uh, we're going to have a good time, man. You know, we, we're going to mix it up. We're going to grind it out. And then we're going to have a good time later after we get off stage. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. All you 420 bucks out there and all you uh, you Jack Daniel boys and Rocker kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All you know yeah. what I'm saying? This is, you know, let's kick back, relax after we're done, and have a good time while we're there. No fighting. No fighting allowed. You want to fight, you leave the head at home. Exactly. It's all about a good time, man. I can't preach that it enough. Is, man. I can't say that enough. Every concert you go to should be about a good time and not fighting and causing trouble, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you got people that want to come, come, you know, they're unhappy. <laughs> or they got shit on their mind and they want to unleash. Yeah. Up inside the bar. Get in the pit, let it go. You knock your boy down, pick him up, dust him off, keep going. Exactly. The rule. Guys, when you write your all's music, is it everybody contributing or is it just one of you? How, how do you guys do it? It could be a whole, it could be, we have an open door policy here in this band, you know, wherever the music comes from, as long as it fits in the band, we all feel it and play it, it's cool. Um, you know, I could come in with a riff, it could be a total outside, you know, friend of somebody. Bones might come in humming something, but no matter what, it's like once Bones takes it and, you know, starts running it through the ringer, 
that thing comes out just, it, it, it comes out, you know, beautiful. It, it, it's wild. It's a, it's a cool-ass process, you know, to see this band work. And those first times when everybody's in on something, on like a new song, forget about it. It's it's cool. Chip Bones forgets his lyrics sometimes because we hit those those moments and be like, damn, I was just listening to the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get caught daydreaming, I call it, just listening, just jamming out. So they're like, you going to sing? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to sing right now. Hey, no, nah, I was just jamming to y'all because it just locks in so well, you know. Um, well, last year this time, I was just getting back on my feet, you know. Everybody had ups and downs in their lives, you know. We weren't even playing out. We was just putting this thing together. Now we're about to head up, get out on the road. I mean, blessings, if you pray about it, blessings fall down. And there was a point in my life where I just didn't think, think like that. How about that? Does that make any sense? Well, you kind of think, oh, it's all up to us. We're going to get this thing done. And you don't, you don't thank the man upstairs for, for what you have. Unless you start thinking negative and thinking you could do it, he'll sit you down and put you in a little quiet place for a little while and think about your action and what it is you need to be doing. Uh, I got a whole lot I need to get right. And so this thing has to, we have to make this thing work because it's going to make, in my life, it's going to make everything else right. Mm -hmm. The decisions that I made, some of them not so well. Some of them good, and you know when you're in the bands with other people, they they don't think about you and maybe what you what you got going on in your life. I can't say the same for this unit. Everybody kind of thinks about everybody and what everybody's got going on. Because you know, um, for the first time ever, I could be honest with my partners. I was honest with my own partners, but then they took that as ammunition and used it against me. Um, I don't feel like that with this this, this unit, and uh, this was a carefully hand picked between all of us, you know what I mean? Because Kurt won't go jump in with me if he didn't feel 100%. Aaron won't go jump in if he didn't feel 100%. I don't think old boy would have came from Mississippi if he didn't think it could work for him. So, um, all I say is thank y'all out there for uh, listening <clears throat> to the new band, uh, taking us in. I really appreciate your time, John. We really, you know, when he said, oh, man, we got another interview. I was like, what? Somebody else want to interview us? Well, that's what's up. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that's not a problem, man. I mean, you know, my buddy Josh said, hey, you got to check check these guys out. And uh, he texted Kurt. Rest is history, man. I mean, I've been hooked on you guys ever since then. Well, you know, it's much appreciated, John. Like you said, we always, always appreciate, you know, kind words and stuff. And that's, you know, the people out there getting something out of it is what we do it for. Well, you, and where do you live again? I'm in oh, Kentucky. You I'm in Kentucky. Kentucky, what about? Uh, I, I'm close to West Virginia, almost to West Virginia, just about. I'm about, I'm close to Pike County, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Now, we got a buddy that's up in Holland County. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we did. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man, uh, I have to go get him, save his ass here, so. <laughs> mm -mm. But it's, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like. That's a, what Troy put another day. <laughs> but uh i mean guys your music will be played on bod's mayhem hour and uber city radio uh i want to support you as and, and as well locals as much as i can you know i could tell that you guys are really genuine about the music and and you and you want the fans to feel what you guys are feeling and what you're talking about thank you so much john you definitely you, you got it man. i couldn't have said it better myself thank you so much how can people reach out to you guys to say, hey, we support you, we want to check out your tour dates and come and see you guys? How can they do that, guys? You can call Kurt at 404. <laughs> 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 the, the, <laughs> the usual spots, you know. You can come up and see Bones over there. He's always out in Atlanta. So. Now, we've got, the, uh, we've got the Facebook page. This is www.facebook.com slash Bones Band, Bones with a Z. Uh, and our Reverb Nation page is ReverbNation.com slash Bones Band Music. And before I let you go, I want to see if you would do a promo for the show, if you guys wouldn't mind. Sure. Just say, this is Bones and Kurt, and you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. One, two, three. This is Bones. And this is Kurt. And you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. Ah, you better play it loud. Turn it up the ticket. Break off the knob. Awesome. Couldn't have said it any better, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much, John. It was a great time. It's much appreciated. Oh, no problem whatsoever. Guys, stick around because we got some bones coming up here and we got some other stuff. You only hear these interviews right here on Uber City Radio on Bod's Mayhem Hour. Thanks, guys. Rock out with us. <laughs> 